Hello cousins, thank you for clicking my video. I have another wig show and tell for you all today. This wig in today's video was sent to me directly from the wig brand Outre. If you're interested in this wig by the end of the video or during the video, there will be a website link in the description box of online different beauty supply stores that you can purchase from. The wig that I have today is Outre Perfect Hairline Lace Front Wig in a Style Blaze. The color I have is Red Velvet. It's curling iron safe up to 400 degrees according to the stock card. And this wig is available in 8 colors. Here's a close-up of the cap construction. It comes with a 13 by 4 parting space. Behind the parting space, there's two cones behind the frontal, another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. They also inserted a elastic band so you could get an extra secure snug fit. And this wig is made on a ventilated cap. Here's how the wig comes straight out of the package. Here is a close-up on the hairline. The hairline comes plucked and you also get baby hairs. Off camera, I went in and customized the hairline to my liking. I did a right side part and I plucked out some of the baby hairs. To cut off the extra lace in the front, I'm going in with eyebrow razors. I start in the middle, so I just cut one side, move the baby hairs back, and take the eyebrow razors and cut right along the hairline in little zigzag motions. Underneath the lace, I applied makeup powder, but only to the spots I'll be showing, so that was the parting space and hairline. I'm going to dive straight into this wig install. Underneath the lace, I am going in with a brown stocking cap. The hairline on the wig is a little longer than my hairline, so I'm just cutting off some of the air tabs so it can lay nice and flat. Now I'm going to take my LA Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze and apply some of this product onto the paper towel, smudge some of the product off with my makeup brush, and apply the concealer on top of the lace to the hairline lightly with the makeup brush. Now I'm taking some olive oil super hold spray and spraying one layer of this on top of the lace from the air tap up to my temple. Next, I'm going to style my baby hairs. I'm going to take this got to be glued spiking glue to hold the baby hairs in place.
Okay, so this style is a bit grown on me. It is giving like rich auntie vibes. The color is definitely a vibe. The red isn't too dark. It isn't too bright. It is a really beautiful red color. I love how the wig come pre-styled and pre-layered for you. And a lot of these wigs is really popular, but it's so rare to find them with a 13 by 4 frontal so i feel like this gives the illusion of a nice affordable haircut on a wig i have seen a few other people install this wig on their cells and i love how they melt the hairline into their skin if you like more of a natural melt then i recommend installing the whole hairline on the wig on the forehead i didn't apply any product to melt the lace in so the forehead is basically glueless I have a 22 inch head circumference and there is a lot of stretch cap room left in here. If you have a big head, you are in for the clear. If you have a small head, then I recommend like knotting the end of that elastic band or even like inserting some pins in the back so the back isn't flapping up too much. I didn't do much styling with this wig. The most I did was detangle the hair with my fingers. And when I was detangling the hair, I didn't get any tangling. As for shedding, I believe the shedding was really low. There is so much room left in my wig that in the back by the sides, towards the nape area, you could kind of see the wig lifting up on my head. So to fix that, I would probably add some pins right there, then use the hair to cover up the bobby pin. I don't have any bobby pins, so I just had to make this wig show and tell work. This wig is not only giving rich on vibes, but it's giving like 27 piece with a frontal. Really not bad. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for taking time to watch and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later.